G'day YouTube, 1MJ here, welcome back. Well, what a brutal weekend this has been. It's Sunday evening here in Australia, so I'm guessing sort of Sunday morning, Sunday lunchtime uh, in the States, and we're all waiting to see whether the, you know, the downtrend is over, or you know, if Bitcoin in the overall market has found its bottom. But we're currently trading at $10,230, so market cap, it's gone sort of, you know, it's gone down a bit again, but at least it's holding above that $300 billion mark. But let's go over to the charts and have a look. Right, so as we can see here, 10,500 has become resistance. I actually thought this would uh, become support, and I said that on the last video, but it is actual resistance. But what we can see is the candle bodies, while we've definitely wicked down below, they're roughly holding above 10,000, particularly that kind of 10,100, $10,150 level. This is where the candle bodies are. Now they're holding support there at the moment, but again, it's Sunday, we've still got Monday to go. There is that CME gap at around about sort of 9,600. So we can go down to roughly about sort of here. And as we can see, roughly thereabouts, 9,600, 9,700, it would bounce off that long-term trend line. So I am waiting to see if that's what's gonna happen. I was hoping the 100 uh, moving day average would become support. It's become a little bit of resistance now, but again, 9,600 will almost perfectly bounce off uh, this outside trend line, the greater trend line. So I'm waiting to see if that's what's gonna happen tomorrow. But let's look at how big the retracement has been. So if we go from here, now this took roughly about sort of five days, well about four days, but we had an 18% retracement over four days. 18% in normal markets, that is horrific and everyone would be panicking. For cryptocurrencies, it's not actually that bad. Not that bad at all. I've, I've seen worse, we've had worse. So 18%. And we're trying to work out what's going to happen here. You can basically see it's just taken back all the gains from when it made this first sort of, not parabolic move, but when it made the big move. So I'm gonna say there's probably some manipulation in there uh, with whales, but also we're following the, uh, the S&P 500 uh, and it had a retracement. So that's kind of a lot of what this is. And this is that Bart Simpson head uh, chart pattern they're talking about. Pumps up and it's choppy and everyone gets excited and then it quickly takes back all the gains that it's made. So let's have a look. So we're gonna zoom back. This was the last halving. So when we had the halving, it pumped up a little bit and then we had a lot of sideways movement before we made uh, some gains. And again, we've had that Bart Simpson uh, pattern happen. But what has it done previously after halvings? That's so we can get a good gauge. Now, look, it's not always going to be the same. And the charts will show that. It's not exactly the same. But every other time from the halving, the markets have made their way up eventually. So we've had the halving and we're a few months out from it. So that was on the 11th of May. We're now at September. So a few months after that, let's go back and have a look what's happened previously. All right, so if we zoom in here, this was the last halving we had. All right, here's the last halving. We traveled sideways for a while, because we'd pumped up, sold off, traveled sideways, and then they had a fairly hefty correction here. Let's have a look and see what that correction's like. So that was a 28% correction after the halving. We've already had an 18% correction. So it's not anywhere near as bad as that. Let's have a look at some of the other sell-offs that they've had in comparison to you know our 18%, which is hurting at the moment. There we go, that's a 33% drop-off right there. So our 18% drop-off, retracement, you know, correction, whatever you want to call it, it's actually not that bad in the grand scheme of things. And all it did was take back some of the profits that we've made. But if we have a look, yep, we had a retracement, fair enough because they had a big move here. And have a look at this. This big move, the retracement basically just kind of took back all of that move, but then pumped up a little, we trade sideways. So that was after the last halving. And we all know what happened if we follow this last halving. Now it took months and months and months. So that was July 19, as not, and it wasn't until, what do we got over here? December 2017, till it hit its all time high. But look at all these retracements. It's had a number of heavy retracements. So this is not uncommon. 
and we definitely could uh, you know drop a little bit lower but again if we sort of zoom across here we're still above this trend line so we've broken out of the trend line so it is quite possible that we're going to bounce off it and we're very close to it already so don't panic too much is what I'm saying the markets they're going to do this it's going to be repeated over and over again I mean look at that retracement that was a near I think 90% retracement what was it that it did from the high to the next all time low 84% retracement now that's from the peak but again we've only had an 18% correction and it could go more it could get down to about 20 or 30 we'll have to wait and see but it's not panic stations is what I want to say relax don't worry the halving has occurred we are in a bull trend we have broken out of the trend line and we're still above it it wouldn't be uncommon for us to come back and touch on the uh, overall uh, trend that we broke before we bounce off and go to newer highs but let's go back and have a look at the other halving so this is the last halving we had what happened to the halving before that so this is on the 12th of November so on the 12th of November this one pumped up a little bit and then traveled sideways for a, a, a couple of weeks there before it made a parabolic move but then look at this sell-off here right what was this sell-off like another 80 percent retracement a little bit more I haven't dragged that quite far enough 80% retracement right there and we've had an 18% retracement but then it corrected itself fairly quickly sold off again you know testing the weak hands before it then started to make its move but every now and then you can see a reasonable retracement throughout all of this this is what Bitcoin does you cannot have these parabolic moves like this without those kind of retracements and again an 80% pullback and we're only at 18% at the moment. So it is quite likely we could get more. I'm not saying we will. Hopefully we hold that. But then again, we have this next big sell off when it hits the top. So that was the cycle high. Made it down to here. An 86% retracement. 86%. And it took months to do that. 444 days. So that's over a year. An 80%. This is cryptocurrencies, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new to it and you're panicking, try to relax. This is just what it does. If you don't have strong hands, then you're just not going to be able to make it. I can tell you right now, I lost 60% of all my profits in the last five days. Good thing is I'm still in the green, but only just. And again, if we lose another sort of 20%, well, then I'm going to have lost even more. And, you know, my altcoins have bled the hardest. I now have altcoins that are 50% in the red and they could go even lower. But I'm a long-term investor. I'm not a day trader. I understand that that's what uh, cryptocurrencies do. And, you know, some of mine I got in right after the pandemic and the crash. So they're generally still in the green. Not all of them, but the good ones are. And the other ones that I've bought in the last 48 hours, they've dropped even more. And I understand that they may drop even more again. But for those who are panicking and thinking crypto is going to zero, I think that's highly unlikely. You just have to have a look at what it's done. You know, it has massive dips all the time. And again, particularly this one after the pandemic, that is what really would have had people worried. That is a 50% retracement right there. 50%. So don't worry too much about an 18% or even a 20 or 30% retracement. That is what's part of a healthy market. We have to look at the bigger scale. We've broken out of this trend line and now we're just waiting to see what it's going to do here. So again, but something that's really interesting is let's go onto the weekly. All right, and I need to get rid of these for a minute. All right, indicators. Anyway, 
It's all right. I can't find it now. But the 21 uh, EMA, 21 week EMA, is where this is basically bounced off. And in all bull markets, that is what this has done before. So it is currently bounced off that and it's down here. So we'll have to wait and see whether it holds. And again, we're going into a new week tomorrow. So yes, this was a red week. That's going to hurt. But a new week starts tomorrow. And if we hold the 21 uh, week moving uh, I forget what it's called, the starts with an E and ESPO uh, moving average, which is what it's held so far, then that indicates that we are in a bull market because that's what it's done a number of times before. So relax, stay calm. It's not the end of the world. If you're in the red, you just got to have strong hands in cryptocurrencies. Unless you got in down here, and I didn't even get in down here. I didn't get in at this. I got in more between 7,400 and sort of 5,400. That's where I was lucky enough to get in to a lot of my positions. So they're still, you know, in the green, but not all of them. Again, I've bought within here, within the last 48 hours. I'm not panicking. I'm not freaking out. I'm not getting out. But lastly, I want to go over to here. Sushi Swap. So much news about Sushi Swap. It had only been around less than a week, and the person who created it, Chef uh, Sushi Nomi or something like that, you know, people are talking about whether he did an exit scam or not. Now, he definitely did sell all his tokens <laughs> and he put something out to say, I did the recent move because I care about the community. Uh, I'm taking IL for you. But all I received was blaming and fudding. Well, it's hard not to uh, fud on him. And he tried to compare himself to uh, Satoshi Light, which is uh, Charlie Lee from Litecoin. You know, Charlie sold his Litecoin at the top. But Charlie Lee was in Litecoin for six years before he sold. It took him a long time before he sold all his Litecoin and he donated it back to Litecoin. So, you know, it's pretty rich of this person to say that, <laughs> you know, they lasted seven days or something before they sold all of their uh, sushi for ETH and they are anonymous. Charlie Lee is not anonymous. So this is why I'm not getting into any of those yield farming sort of things really. I may look at Yearn Finance in the future. We'll have to wait and see. It seems like it's been ordered and uh, is legit. But again, I need to do more research. Yes, there's great gains to be made in all of these things. If you can get in and get out quick, sweet. Awesome for you. Me, I'm not touching them with a the yardstick. You know, I've heard about Based and again, you know, Sushi Roll and Yam and Yam version 2 and all the rest of it. I'm not touching them. I'm staying well away from it. I'm happy with just the sort of regular gains. And once something, once something has been uh, proven and tested, then I'll look at getting into it. I'm not worried about missing, you know, these amazing gains. I'm more worried about losing. You know, I don't want to lose my money. I'm an investor. I'm not here to basically play blackjack and kind of just, you know, throw it all on the table or anything like that. That's not what I'm about. Anyway, Sunday evening, we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. I wouldn't be surprised if Monday morning this drops down and the CME gap gets covered, but we'll have to wait and see. If it does that, then it's dropped below the 21-week uh, uh, moving average, and that may uh, you know, change the opinion of whether we're in a bull market. So I'm kind of hoping that that 21-week 21 21 EMA holds, and then it's just upside from here. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. It's pretty hard to have been on that game train, but I'm sure there were some in there, and I'll see you next time.